There are different ways of running these large language models locally. Xlama is one of them. The reason why we have so many options to run these models locally is that each way or tool tries to target a different niche area. For instance, this Xlama only runs on GPUs and to be exact on Nvidia GPUs. If you want to run your models on CPU, this won't work. You might have to opt for Llama.cpp and then there are GGUF formats you would run to run where some of the layers are offloaded to CPU, some goes to GPU. So that is why if you have such as GPU from NVIDIA and you want to run models locally on it, Xlama is a good option. It is quite fast, it is quite lightweight and then inference becomes easier once you get it installed. There are few prerequisites which you need to meet in order to get it installed and I will shortly show you a step-by-step -step installation. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so please do check them out. Coming back to this Xlama V2, it is progressing and evolving quite rapidly by the way and now it also supports flash attention but there are still few things which you need to be aware of. Also in order to get installed, make sure that you have latest version of CUDA toolkit installed plus you should also have GCC plus compiler or build tools on Linux. And if you are using it on Windows, which you can do, you need to install Visual Studio beforehand and make sure you install the latest version of Visual Studio. Plus you should have a latest version of PyTorch also installed. So we'll be doing it on Linux and I will show you how to make sure these things are installed shortly. So let me take you to my local VM where we'll get cracking. So this is my Ubuntu system where I'm going to run it. As you can see, I have Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card from NVIDIA RTX A6000. With 48 GPU of VRAM, let me clear the screen. So make sure that you have CUDA toolkit installed uh, either on Windows or on Linux. This command is same. On Windows, you will be running it in your terminal or preferably on the PowerShell prompt. So you can see that I have the latest version of CUDA installed, which is CUDA 12.3. And I will be creating a Conda environment, which will create a virtual environment to keep everything simple. So this is my Conda environment. Now, as far as installation is concerned, first we will be downloading the model locally and then we will start with the installation of Xlama. Now, we'll be using the Gemma 2 9 billion. For this, you can even go with Gemma 2 27 billion if you like, but just for the sake of this demo, I will be going with smaller model. If you don't know what Gemma is, I have covered it like in 30, 40 videos on the channel. So please do search the channel. Gemma is a family of lightweight state-of-the-art open models from Google built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. They are text-to-text -text decoder only models available in English with open weights and they are very very well suited for text generation, question answering, summarization and reasoning. So that is what Gemma is. Let's go back to our terminal. So first up, I'm just creating this Conda environment. I'm calling it EXL2. Let's wait for it to finish. Just press Y here. And shouldn't take too long. That is already done and activated. Let's clear the screen. Make sure that you have Torch installed, pip install Torch. I believe I already have it, so it shouldn't take too long for me. Torch is installed. Let's also install Hugging Face Hub because we will be logging into Hugging Face. And you would need to go to Hugging Face and grab your API token from there, from your profile. So for that, we just need to use Hugging Face CLI with Hugging Face dash CLI space login. It is going to ask our token. Let me give it my token. And you would just need to grab your free token from Hugging Face. Press Y and login is successful as you can see here. And you can ignore this Git warning. Let's clear the screen. Now, let's download the Java 9 billion model. I'm just going to create a local directory. Let me cd to that directory. 
and then by using that hugging face cli i'm just going to download this excel to format model from hugging face let me actually take you there on the hugging face site and show you this person's hugging face model card so this is what i'm downloading if you don't want to download from here there are few other people who have done the um, excl2 code so you can check it out so but i'm going to go with this one let's go back to the terminal and i have just given it this repo name same one and rest you can just give this local directory name in fact i will just go out get out of it just to make sure that it does it nicely yeah this is better so that it will just select this local directory let me press enter here and it is going to download it okay i have cleared the screen and next up let's git clone the repo of xlama v2 and i will drop the link to it in video description and now we in the, are in that repo let's install all the requirements and that is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish that is all done let's also install some of the more requirements from present instruction directory let's wait for it to get built so when the first time you run it simply like just run this script test underscore inference.py test we have given the path it is going to build the code extension for it after loading the just-in-time compiler so this is the first time you just need to wait for a bit and in this command all i'm doing it after specifying the directory where we have downloaded the model and stuff and uh, its configuration we have just given it a text prompt like to travel without ticket and train you can replace it whatever prompt you like so let's wait for it to build it first time and then we will See how it goes and it is almost there let's wait for it to finish and when it's once it has downloaded everything now you can see that it has loaded the model it is warming up it is generating the entrance and there you go so because it is a base model so don't worry about this you can, we can go with the fine-tuned one but the real thing is that we were uh, able to run this model with x llama so if you want the response, you can run it with a, a fine-tuned one that is going to give you a proper response for this. My thoughts are still, um, it's a good tool, quite uh, fast, but I think the pre-installation is quite cumbersome. Plus, I don't think so that uh, if a tool is not supporting CPU or it is just geared towards GPUs of NVIDIA, I don't think so that is uh, going to fly that far. But Nonetheless, another option to run models, but for me, I'm not, I don't think so. I'm going to use it in my day-to-day -day operations. That's it. Let me know your thoughts. If you are already using Xlama V2, what is the use case? And if you think that it is a better tool than rest of the lot, please share your opinion. Very keen to learn more. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.